Number one question we hear from producers is if I plant a cover crop, how much soil moisture is it using and what's the benefits of having a cover crop compared to just a standard no-till um, without a cover crop. So we have um, a couple studies, um, one on warm season cover crops and um, dual use wheat systems and then um, cool season cover crops and cotton cropping systems where we're looking at conventional tillage without cover crops, no tillage um, without cover crops and then no till with various um, types or um, mixtures of cover crops. Um, initially what we're seeing in the no-till wheat systems is that um, yes cover crops they do use soil moisture. Um, from this past summer we produced about a ton of biomass with cover crops and um, by monitoring soil moisture every two weeks throughout um, the year we've seen that cover crops do use significant amounts of moisture compared to treatments that have no cover crops. So the question is, can that soil moisture be replenished? Are we increasing or improving soil health that will encourage soil inf infiltration after the termination of those cover crops? Now what we've seen with um, the cool season cover crops in cotton, which has been going on for about two years, is even though we did um, reduce the amount of soil moisture in the profile, uh, much more with the cover crop versus no cover crops, um, we did see and increased infiltration rates and recapturing that soil moisture um, during the subsequent cash crop growing season. So there was indication that we are capturing or increasing um, soil water infiltration where we had the cover crops. This is a long-term process. Um, it takes several years to build up soil carbon, which is a main factor in increasing infiltration and changing soil properties. So don't ex we can't expect to see changes that will tell us um, where we're going in two, three, four, five years. Um, some research out in West Texas has shown that um, just one tillage pass for um, on um, land that's been in no-till eight years can erase everything that's been captured as far as carbon in that eight-year period just by one tillage pass. So it's a long-term process to change these soil properties. So initially we may not see the changes, so something that um, a farmer is going to have to be and dedicated to, um, committed to, and understand that it's a long-term um, process um, before possibly seeing the benefits um, of this system.